OK, let's talk about the triangle inequality theorem. The triangle inequality theorem basically tells us that any side of a triangle has to be greater than the other two sides subtracted from each other. So we'll call this side 1. Side 1 has to be greater than side 2 subtracted from or minus, either way, side 3, but smaller than side 2 added to side 3. And I know that sounds a little confusing, but I think when you see it, in, see it in action, it'll make a little more sense. So let's take a look at a couple of examples of what I'm talking about here. Let's clear this up a little bit. All right, here are three different lengths of lines. You know, the red one is one unit long, the orange one is two units long, and the blue one is four units long. Now, it seems like you ought to be able to make a triangle out of pretty much any three lines because, I mean, a triangle could be anywhere from really tall and really skinny if we have one that looks a little like, like this and then just make it way skinny down to, you know, equilateral where it's the same on all three and clear on over to one that looks like this that's way skinny the other direction. So you should be able to just about make it out of any three different lines it looks like. But there is a limit. If you were to try and make a triangle where this side here and this side here, for instance, weren't long enough added together to equal at least the third side, then those sides wouldn't touch. And you can see that here with my three links. If I try and make a triangle out of these three links, let's take this one here and we're going to rotate it so it's flat and then we'll put oh I don't know let's move this one over here on the side say we'll make this be our our up down side move it into place there there we go and then we'll finally take this last one we can see there's no way this one's going to reach right I mean no matter how I rotate it it's not going to reach back up here to the top of side four and even if I were to sort of set it up there and just barely, barely angle it, small as I can, like so, there's no way that I can take side one and rotate it so that it's going to reach up there to side two. Again, no matter how tiny I make that angle, those two sides just aren't long enough to meet compared to side four. So there are limits to the sides of a triangle. If these two sides, if one and two, if 1 plus 2 are not greater than not greater than 4, then it can't be a triangle. It can't be. If 1 and 2 aren't greater than 4, we can't make a triangle out of it because these two not only have to be at least as long as this, but they have to be a little bit longer so that they can sort of punch out the side this way and go a little farther together than 4 is by itself. Yeah, and similarly, if I have two sides of a triangle, say, um, oh, look a little like this, say, yeah, and my third side, the one I'm looking for, isn't at least as long as this difference between here and here, I still can't make a triangle. So if my third side over here that I'm trying to put in is like, you know, like this one here, if we call this side two and three and this one one, there's no way this side one over here is going to be able to make this into a triangle because there's no way it's going to take the distance from this point to this point and connect them. So that's where that, that theorem that we talked about works. In order for a third side of a triangle to be the third side of a triangle, it has to be at least as big as the difference between the other two sides, 3 minus 2 in this case. So it has to be that big or bigger. In fact, it has to be bigger than that because if it's just that big, then you have a straight line, right? And it has to be smaller than, as we can see here, it has to be smaller than the other two lines added together. 2 plus 1 can't be smaller than 4, or it's not going to work. So that's our triangle inequality theorem. Any side of a triangle has to be greater than the other two. We'll call those A and B. A minus B, the difference, has to be greater than the difference between the other two, but less than the other two combined. 
So a third side of a triangle, and often that'll be C if you like, third side of a triangle has to be greater than the difference and smaller than the total. Let's see how that applies to our example questions.